Welcome to the Beauty Food Academy into our garden. And here we brought to you our smoker and the pit master himself, Gitanis. Gitanis has prepared the fire and he's made it all carbon. This is the secrets of the offset Texan smoker at Beauty. What we have here is a vessel that actually has water in it. So making the air nice and moist. The secret of smoking is low and slow. That is the whole essence of smoking. With a pit master like this, I hope I can do a recipe to do justice. So today, I've been very lucky that my friend David from Avenova in La Boccaria has brought me some gorgeous, really beauty, chunky wings. These are really tasty and really fresh. So, what are we gonna do? We're gonna be doing chicken wings two ways. One is with a dry rub, and that is with ingredients that everything is available normally in your home. And then we're gonna do the beauty barbecue sauce. I'm not gonna tell you which is my favorite, but you can make your own choice. Now let's look at the magical ingredients that once again, all source from La Boccaria. La Boccaria is very famous throughout the world that if a chef needs something, you can go to the Boccaria and my bet is that you're gonna find it there. So, one teaspoonful of ginger, one teaspoonful of five spices. A little bit of turmeric, just for a bit of color, okay? I like a very healthy teaspoon of black pepper. I like a very healthy spoon and maybe a little bit more because I like my spice, okay? There we go. And when do you ever have enough garlic? Oh my God, a bit of salt and a nice bit of sugar. So, you cannot get something more simpler than anybody is capable of doing. And I would suggest that if you haven't got the ingredients, go along to La Boccaria. However, most people have these ingredients already available to them. I sometimes add a little bit of olive oil, just so all the dry rub sticks. Fantastic, okay, here we go. So, essentially, when you take a nice bite off these chicken wings, you're then gonna be tasting some really nice spices. I mean, I always think the chicken is almost like an artist's canvas, and you can paint whatever picture you want with that delicious, delicate meat. And I have to say, I'm a great fan of Avinova, and uh, they really provide us with some great products. Now we've got these beautiful chicken wings, all really sucking in all the herbs and spices, the sugar, the salt, which is gonna make that skin, oh my God, delicious, okay? And now we're gonna put them on low and slow. I'm gonna put these actually on, in the first instance, with no cover, with your hands, like a really good barbecue, and we're just gonna put them just like that. Now, this'll be ready in about an hour, an hour and 15. Close them up, please, fantastic. So, you can see now, once we've raised the actual uh, lid, the temperature drops very quickly, and so the maestro here will close up the vent and actually build up a little bit of heat, and then what we're consistently looking at here all the time is this clear smoke. We don't want that smoke dark and acrid. It's gonna over flavor, and then you won't be able to taste the delicate herbs and spices. Look at these boys, oh my God. This is Katani's favorite, right? So I better do my stuff. Okay, here we go. How can I do justice to this beautiful product? Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is beauty barbecue sauce with all the secret recipes that we have. And I'm gonna share them with you. So what we're gonna try to do is create a marinade, and that marinade is going to really steep itself and impregnate itself into the meat and really make it very, very flavorsome. And then when we actually place it first into the smoker at a nice heat, and if you notice, the heat, since he's put it in, is now building up to 260, shortly 275. So let's come back to the ingredients. The marinade has a little bit more ingredients as well as the dry rub. We're not gonna forget the dry rub, 
but we're now adding an extra layer. So this is almost like a Rolls Royce version of chicken wing. Show me a Brit who doesn't like ketchup. Generously, I would say three, one for luck, tomato ketchup. Next, French mustard. Don't say the English like the French, but here we go. I'm gonna put two lots of this in there. Here we go. Next, sushi vinegar. Dead simple. One, two. Okay, fish sauce. One, two. You can see my measures, okay? He's going, and look at him scraping up. Fresh garlic, can you believe that? Unbelievable. What you can say from the garlic from Barcelona, it tastes different, it is sweet, but also savory. Fantastic, okay? You get a complete emulsion, and the texture is really coming for it. Now, he's gonna go crazy with that garlic if I don't watch him. So, then we come on to the sugar. You know, some people are slimming, some people are not, but what I'm basically talking about, I'm not slimming, right? Here we go. Next, salt. I tend to mess around with the salt as a pinch, okay? An ingredient that many people don't tend to value, which I clearly do, is beautiful fresh thyme, okay? That gives it an edge. And say, what is that flavor? What is that extra layer? Look what we're doing. In with the, the rub, exactly as the dry rub that I showed you earlier, the black pepper, the five spices, the ginger, the turmeric, and the paprika. Okay, now, and I strongly recommend a good old glug of virgin olive oil. Some people use ordinary oil, but this helps all that emulsion stick and really soak in to the wings themselves. <laughs> so he's got it, right? There we go. Now, if you're feeling generous, you can add a little bit of ketchup, a little bit of French mustard, a little bit of sushi vinegar. But the whole basis of this, when I said to you about a magic ingredient, I'm sorry to say, here it is, mango chutney. Can you believe that? Unbelievable. Oh, let me, <laughs> I was gonna leave it to Jean-Claude Van Damme here, right? <laughs> okay, so, okay, here we go. Now, a good old glug of mango. So what I want is to capture the taste here. So what we're looking at is sweet, salty, savory, can you imagine? Oh my God. So, what am I doing here? Right, you take this. Look how beautiful and fresh this is. Great meat, chunky, fabulous. So, once again, here we go. Get your hands dirty. This is the whole basis of really marinating. Oh my God. Okay, welcome back. And these boys have been sitting in the refrigerator for one and a half hours, that's my recommendation, but if you wish, these can stay for up to 24 hours, not a problem. What I would recommend is put a little bit of cling fill over the top, and sometimes people really like that to slowly marinate. I think once you've done one and a half hours, that's perfect. Now, what we're gonna do first is place the wings into our smoker and pump up the heat a little bit so the sauce completely impregnates themselves. So what we have here is the dry rub, very simple. All the ingredients are available in most people's cupboards, very quick to do. Okay, let's put it to sleep and come back to that in about 20 to 25 minutes. Now, if you look at the fire, the fire now has got a, a beautiful ambient flame all the wood is now become carbon and charcoal. And you get a clean burn. No acrid smoke, and you get all the flavors of the wood. All I'm looking forward is a couple of beers and some hot chicken wings. Cooking time, here we go. So what we're gonna do now is take the dry rub, which have been cooking slowly for maybe one and a half hours, low and slow, 
And then we're going to place them into the foil to really keep in all the juices and intensify the heat. Pop them into foil and pop them back. All that sizzling juices. Oh my God. Right. Now, this, all I showed you earlier on was a simple dry rub. We're just simply intensifying the heat by popping them in the foil. Sometimes people use butcher's papers, sometimes people use foil. But I just want to lock in as much heat as possible. Right, not dropping any, wow, look at that. Now, can you imagine what these boys are gonna look like? And again, please, that's great. Let's lock it in there, right, let's go, that's good. Now we've got the dry rub already wrapped up. Uh, that was about one hour ago. We're now gonna have a look at the juicy barbecue sauce and see how it's really coagulated onto the actual meat itself. Perfect, just the job. Great. Good stuff. Right, now, once again. But you guys don't have to be fussy here. What we've got to do is just keep them all wrapped in and keep all the goodness in there. Now, what I've tried to do, back them down, is that you've got three wonderful parcels. The temperature has dropped, literally, by about 100 degrees by keeping that open. What you're trying to do is keep it low and slow. We don't want to vary the temperature. It really affects the way the meat cooks. So now, just as we said this, it's up 50 degrees, and it'll be building up to the correct ambient temperature. Now we're gonna leave that for, in my opinion, at least another hour, and then we're gonna take the dry rub, and we're gonna be tasting. Okay, now, we've got so many interested parties that wanna try the food, we're gonna take out the first element of the dry rub uh, wings. Okay, here we go, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep that heat in, Gitanis. Lovely, man. Fantastic. Here we go, all right, let's see. Holy cow. Smell that, man. Eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, la, 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 la. Ooh, la, 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 la. Hee, hee. What can I say? That is simple dry rub cooked in its natural juices, low and slow. You should let these really cool down because you're going to burn your fingers and your lips. But I know Gitanis can't wait. Gitanis, please. And neither can I. And we're going to try this. Now, this is a simple dry rub. Look at that. You take the skin, perfectly juicy, dripping. Oh my God. Here we go. Bon appetit. Oh my God. Smoky, but very delicate smoke. Okay guys, the moment we've all been waiting for. The Beauty Barbecue exclusive sauce has now been marinating and cooking our wings for at least two and a half hours. Look at this. Oh my God. These are such juicy beauties. Okay. Now, this is exactly the way I like it. Really, really saucy. Okay. Here we go, the tasting. Okay. As I've said to you, beauty barbecue sauce with Avinova chicken wings. All the spices and the herbs come from La Boqueria. Do yourself a favor, go and check it out. The trouble is though, when you get something as tasty as this, you're never gonna be patient enough. Beautiful chicken wings. Thank you very much for joining us at the Beauty Food Academy in our beauty garden with our smoking hot recipes and our smoking hot pit master. Uh, really, please join us again for our next recipe on eataboauty.com. And all I can say, thank you, La Boqueria. Visca Boqueria. <laughs>